Draw. Back of the <laughs> water, finish it off, wash your hands like you're supposed to. While you're looking around the toilet, there's a first aid kit. So if you get attacked by a crocodile, there are plenty of band-aids there. <laughs> right next to the driver is a red cylinder. That puts out fires. Where the driver is, there's an emergency radio. So something happens to me, grab the radio, press the button, start talking, let go, and basically someone's got to talk back. Mobile phones, Telstra, that will pick up wherever you are today. The rest of you people that insist on bringing cheap phones into Kakadu, you'll know the three numbers before you die. Do not put any body parts over the side, that won't matter. Any crocodile can approach this boat at any time it wants. Launch up, grab anyone from the outside seat. Four billion years to make Kakadu. It's officially half the age of Earth. Get ready, folks, I'm about to explain your backyard to you folks. Radio, get ready. But you think thinking red rooster and KFC when you're eating them? Nah, they've got a red meat and they're very, very oily, gamey flavoured food. Why are they at the water's edge? Because there's no water on the floodplain. Goose, you've got egret, then there's a pipe still, then there's more magpie geese, then more magpie geese. So yeah, that incubate the four eggs and look after four babies for two months until they can near my favourite waterfall of Gunlong. So basically, um, that's where it all starts. Now folks, uh, folks, right up high, they're whistling kite. Yeah, very common birds, oh, folks. Yeah. You'll see more of those. You'll probably see a lot more of those birds. Uh, folks, when we get down and they weave the baskets and the dilly bags and the mats and the earrings from the Pandanus spiralis leaf, not Aquaticus, folks. This, they look the same. They almost look a dead same. Yeah, and very common bird, folks, that data there is very forest kingfisher. Related to the azure kingfisher. So you got the little kingfisher, you got the azure, bless you, you got the azure kingfisher in the same spot, and Sally's looking at me going, oh, bloody Reuben and them bloody tourists. So, yeah, under the pandanus, folks. Uh, actually, I'm gonna count to three, and if you haven't spat, found that crocodile by then, you're dead. 100, 200, 300. And the only other reason why you wouldn't have picked it is you don't understand a word I'm saying. Yeah, and they're brought over from Indonesia, folks. And why don't you get rid of them? Because we're here and we've got a buffalo farm. Folks, there's two brogas out on the left. What are brogas, Ruben? Cranes. Two cranes, two big grey birds, 300 metres left. If you're looking at the buffaloes, there's a jabiru with the buffaloes. Big black and white bird with the buffaloes, jabiru. The only true stalk in Australia and crocodile on the links on the left. Now I've got to try to get that back on the right. People on the right. Folks, my boat just went automatically left there. Yeah, they're getting out of the wallows there, folks. You got this small sitting in the wallow there. This will be on the right eventually, folks. It's just the way the boats. Oh, Brolga on the right there, folks. There's a Brolga over on the right there. They're all over Australia. And, um, folks, that smells like it's coming from the river, that buffalo smell. Ah, uh, awesome. And some of you bloody saw that. <laughs> this is that bloke that was on the. Remember when we came on near here? He was the one on the other side, folks. He's now after bow waves, too. Ah, uh, bloody bow There's wave hunters. Yeah, that one on the left. He about 4.7 as well. Oh, the Brogas are still dancing. Wet tailed eagle, Ruben. They stay that colour for four years. Yeah, a lot of people didn't know that. Oh my God, girl seal. A bubble. That's why that fish is looking That's where you should have went first, folks, to get that crocodile thing out of you. You got them jumping crocodile cruises. They've been going. Right, yeah. Now two words I've got to teach you, folks. They swear words. Yeah, you'll find out. 